Hello, this is Bob Skirstonis, and I'm at Vasquez Rocks at Pacific Crest Trail. I'd like to give you a little glimpse of the area and the trail. Thank you. Let's go on an adventure. The Pacific Crest Trail normally sees thousands of hikers every year. This year, due to the COVID virus, there's not as many on the trail. The Pacific Crest Trail starts at the U.S.-Mexico -Mex border near Campo, California. We are here at Vasquez Rocks, about 457 miles from Campo. For most, you will need to fly to San Diego, California, and travel east to Campo to start at the southernmost portion of the Pacific Crest Trail. Hikers start by taking a photo opportunity at the terminus in Campo. At about 779 miles, the Pacific Crest Trail's highest point is an elevation of 13,153 feet, called Forrester Pass, and is the highest point. Forrester Pass is located in the Kings Kern Divide, is a boundary between Sequoia National Park and Kings Canyon National Park. Several notable viewing points along the Pacific Crest Trail are Mount Laguna, Foster Point, just north of Campo, Dressage Pass near Kings Canyon National Park with picturesque views of surrounding mountains. Desolation Wilderness just west of Lake Tahoe with mountain landscapes, as well as a black bear population. Jefferson Park in Central Oregon with great views in nearby lakes. Goat Rocks Wilderness in Washington State offers 360 degree views. In the North Cascade, where the trail climbs for nearly six miles into the Alpine Lakes wilderness. Speaking with hikers along the Pacific Crest Trail, they are a fit group of individuals because they hike nearly 16 to 20 miles per day. This 2,650 mile trail has some hazards along the way and can include rattlesnakes, exposure, cornea flash burns from snow glare, and heat strokes. But for the rugged and adventurous, this is paradise. Most hikers plan on a six-month trek to go from Campo, California, to the U.S.-Canadian border, E.C. Manning National Park. Then hikers go to the nearest road and hope some friends give them a ride into town after this long journey. Vasquez Rocks is the only park in the United States named after a bandit, Hibercio Vasquez. Wikipedia.org has a great read about this notorious bandit. Vasquez Rocks formation was formed through a process called differential erosion. This formation is a deposit of thick sandstone layers, and they have been eroded away over millions of years that give a spectacular presentation. Vasquez Rocks has also been used in filmmaking for 100 years. Notable movies over the last 50 years include Blazing Saddles, Star Trek, Planet of the Eight, Austin Powers' International Man of Mystery, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, Little Miss Sunshine, Flintstones, and Star Trek Into the Darkness, to mention a few. This has been a short view of Vasquez Rocks. Thank you for watching Traveling Bob, T-Bob, on the Pacific Crest Trail, and enjoy the adventures of life. And if you like the video, please click subscribe. Thank you.